Hello there. I just want to show you a little bit of context uh, regarding my latest color grading tweet uh, about how to separate colors here or how to work uh, with colors inside uh, shots that are where things are hard to qualify. In this case here, let's assume this one was shot here at lit blue with uh, uh, the strongest intentions and not by me using intentionally a, a wrong white balance. And we want to work on this fire extinguisher here. So. Um, Let's assume this one is already our primary grading or this one came from the set. Either way, we can't really mess up with the blue because client really wants to keep that blue, but we need to work on this fire extinguisher. And using a qualifier here might work, probably not too well because yeah, the, the whole thing is just, just blue and we really yeah st would strain ourselves to, to pull a decent uh, match on this one. So this is what I do in such cases. I first start with a new layer mixer to make here my parallel uh, grading tree, a node tree. Uh, in this case, it is just here to, to pull a decent mat. I'm not going to use what uh, the, the color adjustments I make in here. All what I do is try to make it as easy as possible for me to, to yeah, just pull a qualifier on this red here. So first thing we do is white balancing, of course. I do this really quick and dirty here. I mean, this this is some some cell phone footage, which is not the best <laughs> for color grading. But hey, it's 4K, so this has to account for something, right? <laughs> okay, so you can see here uh, the footage is really terrible, and the white balance uh, is is not that balanced. But but that's okay. I'm I'm only concerned with what's going on here uh, on the extinguisher. So this is good. Let's say this is good for now and add a new serial where I can pull a mat here for the qualifier, like this. So let's switch over here. Yeah, this looks, looks okay. Blur it up a little bit. See how the noise is working here. It's, it's all right, it's okay. So usually you would just uh, 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 throw this on here with a layer mixer, but uh, how I do things is instead of using this one here, as I mentioned before, this is only for pulling the mats. So I make a new corrector and connect this up. Let's say this one here was my primary grading and I want to do uh, all this here after the primary grading. So, and here comes the big trick. I use here the alpha output of this mat I just generated here. Let's switch to highlight mode and switch the key, invert it. And now it uh, doesn't matter what I do here in the primary grading. Um, oh, you know what? Let's even skip the primary grading and go straight from the source. So no matter uh, what I do here in the primary grading, um, this red here always stays the same, no matter, as I said, what I do here, because sometimes you just make your primary and then maybe make your qualifier. And sometimes you, you go back and maybe your client wants it a little bit warmer there and you go back and your qualifiers are all messed up and you have to do this again. So this is why I yeah, source my qualifiers always yeah, from the source and uh, layer them on top and just use this one here, this, this tree here, those two leaves, uh, yeah, just just to pull a decent mat. And yeah, that, that's pretty much the gist of it. So before and after, looks a little bit redder. And yeah, this, this is how I do things. So let me know if this was valuable to you or uh, if you would do it differently. Uh, either way, uh, uh, thanks for uh, watching and enjoy your weekend.